Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest, as it says right here, and we're going to be given the time in years. So it focuses on certain problems about simple interest, where we're looking at time in years. So you might pause the video, read this problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we're told that Dylan deposits $1,715 in an account. So you're putting money in an account, and this is called P which is our principal. That's the starting amount of the account, so principal. Okay, and it pays 12.3% simple interest. That's pretty high. And what does that mean? Well, this interest rate, so this is our interest rate. This is our interest rate. This is the amount of interest that we gain on the principal each year. So it's a rate per year. And that's a standard. If you see simple interest, you can assume it's per year unless it's noted otherwise. So at the end of a year, uh, you'll have acquired a total of 12.3% interest on that principal amount. So he's keeping the money in the account for how long? For 21 years, so quite a long while. And this will be our T value. This is T or time. All right. How much interest will there be in the account after those 21 years? With, and it's saying right here, there are no deposits or withdrawals, so this amount of money is not changing. Round your answer to the nearest 100th and omit your dollar sign in the answer. That's just something I wrote for uh, Delta Math. So what do we do here? Well, there's a formula we can use which says the interest you acquire equals the principal balance of the account times the rate times the time. And this makes sense because, let's just plug this in so you can see how it works. You're starting off with the principal, which is $1,715. You're multiplying it by the R value, which is the interest rate. Now what I like to do is put this as 0 0.123. That's what I recommend to students. In other words, take your percent, right? So you do 12.3%. That literally means out of 100, right? It's 123 percent means out of 100. So I take 12.3, I divide it by 100 first and convert it to a decimal. And then I'm going to say, well, that's the interest I would have after one year. But what about this problem? I have 21 years. I want to do this 21 times. And then it's just a matter of calculating these three things. So then I'm going to pull up my calculator. And I'm going to do 1715 times 0.123, I don't need that zero in front, times 21, and I get 4429.845, and I want to run to the nearest hundredth, so it's going to be 4429.85, so 44, and I already forgot, 29.85, and that is just the interest on the principal over those 21 years. It's, if I asked you how much was in the total account, and we'll do that in other problems, you would then take that and add it to the initial deposit. Right? So you would add that principal at the end. All right, I hope that helped.